By painting the body in a bright green color, I was left with pretty much two options for the interior that would look good and period correct, and that would be to go for a full black or a black with white seats. Now I put up a poll in the community section and you agreed with me that these two colors were pretty much the only options available. There of course were a couple of other suggestions, but I didn't really think it suited the build. And according to the poll, you guys wanted to see it with black door cards and white seats. With all of the parts in primer and the seats already being painted white, I could move on to the main interior tub itself, which the front section of course is molded into it as you could see in the unboxing video, and that still needed to be painted green to match for the engine bay. Then later that will be masked off and the rest of the interior tub will be painted black, and of course some flocking will be added on top of it to simulate the carpet look. Other parts for the interior like the door card, center console, and other random stuff was painted in a flat black to match. The engine bay and rear parcel shelf on the interior tub were masked off and the rest of it got a liberal coat of flat black. While it was still really wet, I straightaway moved on to the workbench and applied the flocking on top of the wet paint to make it stick to it. The excess flocking was taken off and put back into the jar to be used on another project in the future. With that all done for now, those parts were set aside to dry and I could move on to detailing out all of the interior parts by adding a couple of silver badges, some buttons, even some locks, and other details all around. For most of the wood grain there were decals in the kit so that was easily done in a later section of this video but for the gear shifter and the steering wheel there weren't any decals in the kit itself so I needed to paint it. I painted it in a couple of layers of brown and then added some Tamiya Paneline accent color on top of it just to give it a bit of a wood grainy look. It didn't really work all too well, I probably should have built up multiple thin coats of different shades of brown but in the end it looks pretty fine, I added some more details to it and then started on applying the decals on the dashboard, center console, and door cards. Once all of the small details were painted on and the additional decals placed and formed to shape, I could move on to assembling it all with some super glue from Bob Smith Industries. In order to add some more detail and realism to the interior, there are a couple of decals to simulate some of the seat belts for on the rear and also on the front seats. Now those don't really cut it in my opinion, so I took out some scale production seat belt material, cut it to shape, and then glued it in place one by one, and added some buckles from Highlight Model Studio on top of them as well to finish the look off.
With all of the seat belts and buckles now in place, I could move on to gluing the seats in, adding the door cards, and putting the dashboard in as well to finish this interior off for now.